Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join me here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we are going to have a look at our smart stop and forward reverse uncoupling functions in our Cebus machines. So you join me back up in the cab of our Cebus Hexashift machine looking at some of the level of automatics that we have on our Hexashift transmission. So firstly what do we have? Well we have a feature called smart stop. What is that? Well it's a brake to clutch feature. So firstly, if I pop into my transmission menu, down into transmission settings, we'll see that we have our auto clutch setting here called smart stop. Again, it's an on or off value, so no other settings in relation to it. With the feature turned on that you can see at the moment, if I press my foot on the brake, it will also engage the clutch. So for example, if I think about maybe a round baler and wrapper, I need to eject the bale out of the back end of the baler once it's been wrapped. I can now just apply my foot onto the brake pedal. It will disengage drive to the machine. I can inject my bale, take my foot back off of the brake pedal, and it will re-engage drive for me as well. So a nice little simple setting to work in the background. What other level of automatics do we have? Well, we also have another feature called forward reverse uncoupling that we can see down here by this F slash R in the two gears. By turning this on, it uncouples our forward gear from our reverse gear. So what do I mean by that? Well, essentially it means that we can have a different forward gear to a different reverse gear. And again, this is just an on or off value. So by coming back to my home display, you'll see that we can now change from B5 in forwards to maybe B2 in reverse if I was to think about a front loader style application. So I'm maybe coming into my heap a little bit quicker to get a full bucket, but then once my bucket is full in my front loader, I want to reverse nice and steady. And as I then subsequently change from forward to reverse, it will remember the gear that I was in the last time I was in that direction. So for example, if I was to then change into B6 in forwards, now it would change from B2 to B6 each time I change from forward to reverse. So again, a nice simple feature to work simply in the background of our machine. So, thank you for watching everyone. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.